So right now what's going down is we're heading east to a place called Sarat. Um, this is quite nice. Uh, I can see why people enjoy being in vehicles because the, the air con is very lovely. <laughs> so I'm enjoying this tour tour, uh, taking a break from Cindy. We're going to Sara. Supposedly has a really long church, the longest in Ilocos. And there's something unique about the way they talk there. So I'll tell you about that later, but driving. Good job, Kuyo Carlo. Dahan, dahan. Protect the package. Protect Kulas. the Santa Monica Parish here in the town of Sara. Now, this used to be the capital of Ilocos Norte before it turned out to be Lawa. This is from 1724, and the actual roof is a regional Spanish truss work that's used with Malave wood. And can you believe this too? The brick walls, also the original from Spanish time. Now, this is actually one of the longest aisles in all of Southeast Asia, 145 meters long. It is really a beautiful building to, to come and take a look at. And you know what? Imagine if you were to get married in this church, you have to walk 145 meters and think about it the whole way. Grab this. So we're stepping outside of the church. Again, another blue shirt. They're everywhere. They're all over Ilocos. So you can always get information. George. George, up here. Kulas. This is George. Uh, we're going, where are we going, George? The ruins? Where are we going to the church ruins? Church ruins, okay. And supposedly there's a whispering wall? There's a whispering wall. Are you guys whispering? Does it actually yeah, work? Yeah, it actually works. Really? Yeah, see, wait. Yeah. You are? Oh, no, not me. <laughs> what? Yeah, can you, I can, the message is the message for you. Hold up, hold up. Okay, this is no joke. So, this is the whispering wall here. Therene, where are you? You're over there? Other side. Yeah. Okay. Therene, hold up, not yet. Okay, three and you go for it in three, two, one. So I gotta set this up. Okay. Whispering wall. Three's over there. Two. You're breaking up with me? <laughs> you whisper. Oh, I mean, how dare you? <laughs> you can really hear it. That was funny. That's amazing. Yeah, you can really hear it. Like, she I literally. I wanna try. One second. I got one. That's for you. Whispering wall, whispering wall, here we go, okay. You're not my girlfriend. You're not really my girlfriend. actually a torture chamber next to the church ironically that the Spanish would torture Filipinos by tying them up and whipping them so it's a brutal piece of history
So if you come to Sara, one of the interesting things is they have a unique kind of style to the way they speak Ilocano. So I'm going to go to the store and try and order a Sprite with a local kind of uh, accent. Let's see if I can do it. You look at it and you say apple, it's like tile apple. 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 The back time when you split it, it's fine. She looks a bit confused, but you say, go back time when you split it, you say, go split. Uh, if you're going to order something or if you're going to say something in Ilocano, you kind of add an A to it. So I said, Gumatang and Split A. Gumatang is like to buy. Gumatang and Split A. Am I correct? No? I'm yeah, correct? That's, yeah. that's, good. that's good. That was good. That was good. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. Gumatang and Split A. Yeah. <laughs> love, love. Gumatang and Split A. <laughs> Whether you like Marcos or not, this is a must stop in Ilocos and one of the most popular tourist sites. Behind me, that's the Malacanang in the north. Back in the 1970s, Marcos actually designed this building himself and it acted as kind of a cabinet meeting, function hall, and basically Malacanang away from Manila. It is big, it is beautiful. Wow. Mamena, this is cool too. I met her four years ago. She's from Batak. I met her in Kagindiora four years ago. She's, this is her home. She's a tour guide. She's a legend. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to eat empanadas. And me. And maybe make them. Yeah. Let's see. Let's try. Is that rice flour? Okay, this is, this is awesome. So I'm here in Batak. And this is like the ultimate mecca of empanadas here in Ilocos. And this is Madang Lani, and she actually runs this empanada stall. She's gonna make one now and show me how it's done. I might make one later. But what's really unique is this whole area, everybody is relatives. Like it's a secret recipe that's been handed down since 1941. So let's watch the master, Madang Lani. In case you're wondering, I'm really bad at cooking, but I'm very good at eating, so no matter what, I'm going to eat this. Look at that, beautiful, no? <laughs> and then, hey, God, this is the, I am the worst at it vlog, the absolute worst, but we've got the rice flour, we've got the papaya with the mango, we've got the longanisa, it vlog for more, here we go. <laughs> Banana looks like an elephant, girl. Oh, yeah. One of the, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's put it in. Oh, a ninja move! Alright. I think I can do that. I made that one. Can you tell? 
<laughs> Can you guess which one I made? It's the really bad looking one. <laughs> the elephant. The elephant. That's my other one. This is an amazing spread. Yeah, yeah it's, it's cholesterol rich. <laughs> no one becomes payat after that. That is called happiness in that half right there. Happiness in Iloko. Actually, that's just happiness, period. <laughs> Really nice. Alright. I'm full of delicious food. This place is awesome. And check out the mural. That is an incredible mural. Those are incredible empanadas. So much food, so much happiness, so much history. Loving it, locos. Good vibes. Back to the car. Sir, I'm going to put this, sir. It's a mo. Your heart. It's a mo. in all of Ilocos Norte, way up here in the mountains. That is a beautiful province. Unbelievable. 